Well, hello, hello everyone. This is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. And we are doing the March 2020 challenge journals today, at least starting on them. We'll get a little dent into the journals today. Um, and the digitals that we will be showing off so that you can go on the website listed in the description box below and purchase any of them that you want. Um, some of them are available printed and some are just digitals. Any of the ones that are mine are available printed as well. But Joanne's Dancing Dahlias, uh, my Kit Strokes of Nature, also my Bright Soul Ephemera Pack, and then Caroline Jensen, we are using her Vintage Music Flower Pages. And if you want these, you need to get them now, um, I think in a day or two, she's going to be leaving our website on excellent terms. I love her stuff, but she's really focusing on her Etsy shop. It's doing wonderful. And so we're going to have a different artist come in to my shop and we will announce that probably later in the week or next week. And then also Music Blooms. Um, that's my kit as well. So those are the ones that we're going to be working on. If you're interested in the upcoming challenges, if you want to participate, we have next month, which the theme is garden and birds. And then these are the digitals, my fair garden, plant a garden, antique aviary, which you can get that kit free over on my Facebook group, botanical birds and bird cutouts. Again, the bird cutouts, you only have a day or two left to get them on my shop. You could probably go over to her Etsy shop. Um, if you needed to after that. And then the May challenge, this is the announcement for the May challenge. I have the five digitals listed and you have to use at least three of these five. Uh, so there's one from Joanne and four from me. Joanne's lovely ladies mini kit, what she wore, that's mine. It's a junk journal kit, blooming African violets. That's a junk journal kit and boho beauty, which is a paper pack. And then for additional ephemera, you can use any coordinating ephemera, any ephemera you like from my vintage image club.com. I have public domain images over there and I set them up in easy print sheets, or I have the individual images. That way you can print them the size you want. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, so many categories that will go well with this. And that will allow you to really tailor this any direction you want. Um, this is themed kind of like lovely ladies. It's it's beautiful women. Um, the Blooming African Violets has different ethnicities in it. Um, so that's wonderful. With that option, Boho Beauty does as well, more Bohemian Gypsy. And then what she wore is, is more like Edwardian, Victorian, vintage 19 or 1800s style. Uh, but you could pull this more into a floral if you wanted to. Um, there's a lot of options you could do as far as colors and stuff. If you use the ephemera from vintageimageclub.com, there's uh, sales going on right now. Um, you can get a year for $10 a year or you can do a month or there's even a free trial. So lots of different things that you can do over there. And if you need images printed from this, like if you're ordering these printed, if you need images printed from this, let me know which ones you need. And uh, we can create a custom listing and get that out to you for how many pages you need. It's 50 cents a page on presentation paper or a dollar a page on cardstock. I don't have a listing for that. You will have to send me an email. My email is below so that we can work that out. And then of course, if you're ordering a large quantity, I'll give you a discount um, for sure. I'd be very glad to do that. So 70% commission is what you'll get on any journals sold under this challenge. I will begin filming May 29th, which is a Friday. And the rules, tight signatures, no loose signatures. If you have to redo it, redo it, but make sure every sig signature is in there tight. Uh, it needs to be embellished, so there's no blank journals, no naked journals for this, no journals, and then an ephemera pack. They have to be embellished and decorated. Uh, no blank white pages. So coffee dyed paper's okay, colored paper's okay, lined paper's okay. Or if you have white paper, add some sprays or some stencils or some stickers or some collaging or stamping or something like that. And then they have to have at least 60 pages, no itty bitty mini notebooks, no 40 page traveler's notebook inserts. They, they need to have at least 60 pages be a real honest to goodness journal. 
So that is that. Oh, and this is all over on my Facebook group. So you can reference it over there. Our uh, Facebook group is listed below. So go join if you have not. We have over 3,000 of us over on there. So we have a lot of fun. We have daily questions. We have freebies. We have links. It's a great place that I communicate with people if stuff's going on. Um, if I have changes to plans and different things, I try to put that over there. So it's just a great way to get more information about what's going on over at Nevermore Creations. So that's all that housekeeping business, but we have 10 journals we're going to look at today and there's no way I, I just get it out there. There's no way that I can present these journals in a way that makes everybody happy. Um, so I'm just going to do what I feel like. And I hope that everybody finds a little bit of inspiration and joy and know how grateful I am for everybody's um, submissions. My main goal is to goals is to give inspiration and to sell these journals. But of course, my main goal is um, advocating for the artists here and trying to sell them so that they can get some money to continue their craft supplies, to buy supplies, to buy pay bills, to buy gifts, to put money in their savings account, retirement account, whatever. So that is my number one goal. And I have so many journals that come in. And right now with the quarantines and the coronavirus and my boy at home from school and everything is so topsy-turvy there's just all bets are off on my channel for the next month um so I'm not necessarily going in order in the marketplace I'm doing what works best for the day um sometimes I'm gonna have to cut videos short or not flip through as much or maybe there'll be times I'll just show you covers I mean I may just be like this journal's for sale and this journal's for sale and go <laughs> over to my shop because it's a lot easier for me to list than to film these days Right now, my boys are watching a little bit of TV. They were building some Legos. They're quiet. They're happy. In 30 seconds, that can change. And I'm sure you all know and understand that. Please know I appreciate all of you. And um, even if I don't flip through every single page, I appreciate all of you. And it's really kind of impossible to flip through every single page unless I had hours because... Um, there's just so many amazing journals. So I'm going to stop talking so that I can spend more time on these journals and we'll see how much time I get because like I said in my last video, who knows when I'll have to stop. <laughs> so this one is beautiful. It really draws my eye with the beautiful pairing of the fabric and the gorgeous florals. This is Joanne's Dancing Dahlia's Paper Pack. One of my favorites that she did, just the color schemes are absolutely gorgeous. Um, plenty of room for journaling on these and I have to love the stitching three beautiful signatures and I think that's actually the front there we go that's the front that's the back and that's from the dancing dahlia so definitely pick up that digital it's only like a dollar fifty even if you don't use it right now you will find something to pair with it it is so beautiful so uh this is by Rita Rita Henderson she's one of our um oh and I do not have much battery left so how fun is that hopefully we can make this she's one of our marketplace artists and she's you can tell here with the ephemera there's a lot of pieces of ephemera from my kits and stuff like that so we have a lot of different gorgeousness in here uh, music blooms which definitely has a pansy theme to it if you love pansies there's a lot of pansies in that kit I love, I love her journals because they're always so bright and colorful. Um, well, or they're grungy and vintage or a mixture, but I'm looking at bright and colorful things. So that's what I'm saying. But I love the, the grungy. I love, I love, I guess, just the simplicity of what she does, but yet how beautiful it is and how she adds so many amazing uh, goodies. This is from Strokes of Nature. Definitely has very much of a watercolor painter's theme to it. So as you can see like this. So that is a very, very, it was a very difficult kit to create, but it is one of my favorites as far as how it came out. Definitely one you want to think about adding to your digital collection. What's nice about buying digitals is that you can create a collection that you never run out of. 
This is from Strokes of Nature too. So she's really focused on Strokes of Nature in this one with that little bit of dahlias. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So that one is available in the Marketplace section of my website. This is on the next journal we're looking at. And this is by Lynn Lewis. We have a fabric covered spine, a repurposed book cover, a little pocket on the front. It says journal. And then there's two pieces of ephemera. These are from Bright Soul. It's one of my ephemera packs available on my website. And I really focused on uplifting bright vintage pieces. So there's a lot of beautiful paintings and a variety of a whole bunch of beautiful things. So one of my favorite ephemera packs, I think. I just love it. Um, so again, like strokes of nature and you know, which digitals I mentioned, you can see back at the beginning of the video, which ones uh, are represented, but I really was trying to go for, I think we kind of had like nature and music were big themes this month, but of course every artist puts their spin on it, which is truly beautiful. I have sold some of Lynn's journals before and they're always perfect. They're so beautiful, so well made, just perfect for any journaler. She adds those sweet little touches and collages. Look, look at that gorgeous card there, but they're just so perfect. Everything is so straight and so sturdy. Look at that. She made some of these um, ephemera pieces into little like faux postage stamps, but they look so real now. Makes me want to put them on my letters. Just gorgeous what she's done. More bright soul ephemera pieces here. This is Strokes of Nature. I love how it just has all the watercolor effects. So that one's available as well. I love this cover too. Uh, she's collaged up some elements from Strokes of Nature. Like, I love the art of painting. So this would be a perfect gift for an artist. Just a little book that they could use. And then, of course, we have our Dancing Dahlias here in the front. This is also from Rita. Rita Henderson. So, really pretty. Look at that. There's a bookmark she made. I'm not flipping through every page, but I'm trying to give you big gist here is a little like a uh, ephemera folio folder really pretty ephemera stuffed in the pockets really good quality binding I love all the blues that is a sweet journal I'm always blown away at the quality for the challenge everybody really brings their a game making these journals for the challenge journals so next, this one says Blue Beauty. You have upholstery fabric. Looks like it's a covered book cover. Let's see who created this. Um, Donna Young. There's a sweet little flip out there. A little on the stiff side, so you're going to have to work that open, but it will loosen up. I am more than sure of that just a lot of pages put in here which definitely gives the journaler a lot to work on we have gorgeous coffee dyed pages and it's got a, she also paints so she's put some of her painting in here which works great with the theme for sure really pretty you can order um donna orders her prints from me uh for the kits and then she creates a journal so you can do that. I offer all of my digitals printed. And if there's something you want, you don't see there, like Vintage Image Club, if you're a member over there, but you don't have a printer, that's fine. I can print them for you. Just email me so we can work those details out. Look at this one, you guys. This one's huge and it's so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure who created it, so we're going to find out. This is from, I'm not sure, Deb, Deb Abrowski. Hopefully I'm saying her name right there. So Deb created this. This is a large journal, beautiful pages. Look at her choices. I'm not opening to every page, but you get the gist. Okay, I'm not sure what she used to bind this. It looks like an elastic thread. It's a little loose, um, honestly. The binding is not 
yeah, this binding is not strong enough for a challenge journal. Um, so definitely the price is going to reflect that and make sure all binding is super strong because I don't know that this is going to hold up. I think it will, but it's like this elastic thread and I don't know how strong that is. They're a little loose and there's quite a lot of pages per signature. So just be careful with that and be aware of that when you're creating your journals. But the outside is just so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. There's four signatures there. Look at this one. She's used um, an image from Music Blooms. That's so pretty how she did that. All right, let's see who this is from. I think this might be from Deb too, let's see. Yes, this is also from Deb. And again, those signatures are kind of loose, so that affects the price quite a bit. They need to be pulled tight. Not too bad, just a little bit. But look at how pretty these pages are. Yeah, that's really loose. So work on tightening up your pages, Deb, so that you can get, get more money out of your journals. I like their stitching around the edges. Really pretty, her collaging. And then I think this is a little envelope here in the back. Super cute. That cover though, oh, I love it. Super sweet. All right, then we have this one. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is from Lori. Whoops. I'm not sure this is, is this some, yep, there's Bright Soul. Trying to see which digital she used here. Yeah, and here's the um, Strokes of Nature. Let's see if I can pick out a third digit. Look at how pretty. There's the Strokes of Nature, Bright Soul. Some little tags here. Look at how cute. I'm looking for that third digital. I'm not seeing. It might be this one. That might be Caroline's. Yeah. There's a little. That is a sweet journal. Very nice, nicely made. Love that cover. Isn't that pretty? It's a good quality. I just think that would be so much fun to journal in. And it would look so pretty in a collection. All right, then we've got this one. It's called Spring. Look at that doily. Isn't that pretty? This is from Donna Young. Got a little folio in the front. Really pretty pages. Cute stenciling. A lot of music blooms. Those pansies throughout. Some strokes of nature. It's pretty marbled paper there. And this is fabric covered with a fabric closure. Two signatures. Here is the next one. Look at that cover. These are ephemera pieces from Bright Soul. And she's used some music uh, lace. Or not lace. I guess that's more of a fabric. And there's some on the back too. Look at the music notes on the closure. And this is from Francis. Okay. This is Frances, and the, she is in Germany. I'm pretty sure I got that right. So this journal comes from Germany. Look at the edges she's sewn on. So if you enjoy adding, she's even printed some on vellum. If you enjoy adding journals to your collection from other countries, then I would suggest getting this one if you don't have one from Germany. 
Look at how beautiful. I love what she's done. How does she, okay. The, the signature is a little loose, not bad. I love what she's done on all these pages, edging them with fabrics and laces and trims. This would be so much fun to play in. I love, look at, this was like a music vellum page and then she printed the paint colors on it. And here too. Super fun, look at the stitching. So many gorgeous pages. Paper choices are gorgeous. So from Germany, that is definitely a special thing for us, especially here in America and probably around the world too, but we love seeing journals from other countries. Look at this one, you guys. Look at that cover. Look at those appliques and the lace. It's fabric covered. It has a cute little tassel and, and this tassel is actually tied onto the binding. I love that idea. Look at those buttons and charms. Just such a grungy, shabby, chic. Look at that. There's a little saxophone music. Look at the applique goes all the way to the back. Silver book corners, fabric closure. And this is from Francis in Germany as well. Wow. <laughs> Look at how pretty. This is the last journal we'll be looking at today. But there are more videos to come. Over the next week, we should get through all of them. So pretty. Little booklet. Little ephemera pieces. That's from Bright Soul. I just liked how bright and cheery all these kits are together. They're so artistic. They make wonderful art journals and gifts. It's a great way to introduce other artists into junk journaling. Isn't that beautiful? What an amazing job, Francis. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. All right, so that's what I have for you today. And we will get more videos filmed here in the coming days. I hope you enjoy and find something to spark your creativity and your joy. I could just sit here and look at this applique forever. It is so gorgeous. Think about how pretty that would be sitting on the shelf. You could just see that hanging from the spine. I love the little pom-poms. I hope you have a wonderful day that you're creating, making the best of every single moment. Even if you are stuck at home, every moment that we're alive is a gift from God with a purpose to be used. And we can do that with joy, regardless, regardless if we're having a bad day or not. Today's been a little rough for me. Yesterday was beautiful. Yesterday was peaceful. I enjoyed it. Today's been a little rough. But I want to refocus and remember that even in the rough moments, there can still be joy because we're not alone. God's here with us. He has a purpose and a plan for us. And it's a great time to just kind of readjust and reconsider that. I know I am and I hope you guys are as well. If I can answer any questions about the challenges or the marketplace or anything else, feel free to send me an email. I hope that you'll subscribe if you have not and give this video a thumbs up, maybe even save it to a playlist so you can come back and watch it again or finish watching it if you didn't have time. And I'll see all of you again soon.